A Saudi Daisy woman was locked out of her Facebook account. Now the person who has ownership of it is posing as that woman and scamming people out of money. Grayson Gordon has more on that story. Grayson. David, she woke up to an email saying her account password had been changed and realized she was locked out of her Facebook account. After weeks and many measures taken, she cannot regain access or even get it shut down. It said it was changed at like 640 in the morning and I was asleep. Rachel Loomis followed the steps Facebook gave her to reset her password, even sending in her ID. But the code used to sign back in did not work. It says this code is invalid, it's already been used. And I was like, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> in the meantime, the person behind the profile has posted in different Facebook groups that she is giving away free items. And her husband has been alerted as well through Facebook that someone is scamming others using Loomis's profile. We've been getting a lot of messages so far in a week's time, we know that they have scammed different people for over $600. We spoke with Michelle Mason at the Better Business Bureau, who says the organization has seen this often. So this is not unusual. Um, it's, it's one of those things where if you can act quickly, sometimes you can resolve it. It's maybe as simple as going in and being able to change a password back to your own. Um, but if it's gotten further than that, we're finding it's really difficult to overcome even reporting it to the social media sites doesn't mean that they're going to help put a stop to it. This entire incident weighing heavy on Loomis as she continues to wait for a resolution. The last thing I would ever do is, is scam someone, so it really hurts me to know that someone's doing that with my account, you know, because people are trusting them because they look at, you know, look at this Facebook page and they see, you know, that I post pictures of my kids and everything because it's actually my Facebook account and blocked from the profile and years of memories. So, you know, nearly 16 years of just pictures and of our vacations and, you know, I still have those pictures, you know, but it's the stories behind those pictures and those vacations that we've taken that, that I'll never get back. Mason says there are measures you can take to help prevent this from happening to you. If someone's approaching you and it sounds like a friend or a family member, but something doesn't feel right, quite right, especially if they're asking for your information or trying to get you to click on a link, check with them first to make sure that's really them. You, you don't want to fall victim to that. The organizer says to make sure to select a strong password with numbers and letters, use two-step verification, and consistently update security software and scan from malware. And there is more information on our website where you can see how to also report these hacks. Back to you.